Hello guys, welcome to this little video. Today, well really tonight, because it's 11.30 at night, my dad and I are going to be making some cinnamon rolls homemade because we've been wanting to try this for a while and since it's spring break, we thought, why not do it now? So, come join us late nights in the kitchen making cinnamon rolls. We've never done this before, so hopefully it turns out. Let's go ahead and get started. My dad is a cleaning master. He makes sure to sterilize everything before we get started because he is very clean. <laughs> this is the recipe we're using. It's by Tasty. I don't know if you've heard of that, but they look pretty good and easy, so that's the one we're gonna be doing today. First thing we did, we had to grease down our baking pans with real butter. So you're gonna wanna mix two cups of warm milk in a bowl, then add half a cup of melted butter and half a cup of sugar. And then whisk everything together. Then take one pack of active dry yeast and sprinkle it over your milk, butter, and sugar mixture and let it sit for one minute. I am adding four level cups of flour. We're gonna sprinkle that over our yeast, butter, milk, and sugar mixture. Then stir everything together with a wooden spoon until it's all combined. Now we have to let this lovely mixture sit and rise for one hour and it'll be nearly doubled in size. What are we gonna do for an hour? I guess we're gonna watch NCAA basketball, your favorite. You know what? Okay. <laughs> it's been one hour, so let's check on the dough. It does look a little bit bigger, so hopefully that's big enough. I don't really know. Next, add in three quarters cup of all-purpose flour into your risen dough. Then add two teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder. Then you're going to take some flour and sprinkle it onto the countertop so that our dough doesn't stick. And then you can put the dough onto your floured countertop and start kneading it a little bit until it's not sticky anymore. Now we are, since we've kneaded the dough, we're gonna roll it out into a rectangle. And you wanna make sure the corners are very sharp and roll it about half an inch thick into a rectangle. That's looking good. Now you're gonna spread on three quarters of a cup of softened butter all over your rectangle, along with three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon. We just had a little cinnamon scare. We thought we didn't bring enough cinnamon um, to this beach house. We need two tablespoons of cinnamon and we only have about one teaspoon that we brought, but luckily we found a whole other pack of beautiful cinnamon in the owner's closet, so Thank goodness, or else these just would not have turned out. I mean, what's cinnamon rolls without cinnamon? So then you're just going to roll it up and then divide your roll into seven cinnamon rolls and just go ahead and slice them up. And once you put them in the pan, just cover them with plastic wrap and let them rise for 30 more minutes in a warm spot. So now to make our frosting, we have four ounces of softened cream cheese in here. We're adding in two tablespoons of melted butter and two tablespoons of whole milk, along with one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you're just gonna whisk it's that really up. hard with this cream cheese. I know, it's a little um. hard. <laughs> that is looking better and better creamier now. Mm -hmm. Good work. Now we add in a cup of powdered sugar. It's gonna be so sweet. It's time for our frosting taste test. Ready? Mmm, mm. delish. So good, I love cream cheese frosting. It's the best frosting. It's so much better than buttercream or anything like that because that stuff's too sweet. But cream cheese frosting? is the bomb.com. <laughs> now that we are letting the cinnamon roll dough rise again in for 30 minutes, 
I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog for tonight because in the morning we're going to bake them and put our frosting on Yay. and tell you how they really taste. So we'll have to see. It's very late night, but did you have fun? I had a blast. I had a lot of fun. It's so much fun doing late night baking with my dad. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. It's now the next morning and it's time to bake our cinnamon rolls. So we have the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna bake them for 25 to 30 minutes. The timer just went off, which means our cinnamon rolls are ready. Let's see how they look. Ooh, those look so good. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing in here. All right, now it's time to put on our cream cheese frosting. So we're gonna, we're gonna drizzle that on top. Well, how do you think they look? I think they look okay. I mean, it didn't turn out just like the video. However. Are you kidding me? These look great. My dad's just a perfectionist. They look, they look good. Let's try them out. Okay, let's let's do it. All right, I'm gonna try it on camera. You have like two cameras at you. It's really good. It's the official taste test. What do you think? Delicious. Are they really, really no, good? really good, I'm not just saying that. Like. These are actually really good. Good, what do you think? I like them. I think they're a keeper, like you said.